Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special birthday party guests. And now, on with the show! <laughs> The tots and gringo rosy, London Bridge is falling down. Boys and girls together, me and Mamie O'Rourke, trip the light fantastic on the sidewalks of New York. East side, west side, all around the town. The tots and Ringo rosy, London Bridge is falling down. Boys and girls together, me and Mamie O'Rourke, trip the light fantastic on the sidewalks of New York. No, we're not in New York. We're right here in Springfield, New Jersey, celebrating my birthday at the Hilton Garden Inn. <laughs> With the two tuxedo tunesmiths at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and at the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. Not only is tonight my birthday party, but tonight we are recording the 300th episode of The Steve Ames Show. <laughs> 300 episodes, that's a lot of shows and a lot of memories. Which brings us to this beautiful song written by Gus Kahn and Edgar Von Alstein. <laughs> Dreams of love so true Over the sea of memory I'm drifting back to you Childhood days, wildwood days Among the birds and bees You left me alone But still you're my own my beautiful memories. Childhood days, wildwood days, among the birds and bees you left me alone but still you're my own in my beautiful memory well sandy randa what's the good word for tonight happy birthday steve and happy 300th episode. So that's terrific. That's wonderful. Yes, yes. And You've uh, been on about 200 of them. Good. Yeah, that goes back a long time. That's right. Fun time. That's right. And what's the number that you and Mike are going to do tonight? Well, this is one of the tough ones. Uh, one of the toughest ones we've probably done on the show. So Mike and I worked out this arrangement that was extremely popular. It was an instrumental called Classical Gas, uh, an artist uh, called... Um, Mason Williams, and a couple of the artists did it also, but it's his song, Mason Williams, and it became a big, big hit. It's like a classical pop, uh, classical pop piece, but it went over really well in the late 60s, early 70s, and so on. So we're going to try our hand at it. It's called Classical Gas. Let's hear it for Sandy and Mike. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's a man with a song in his heart, my buddy, Tony Adada. <laughs> taping tonight's show on February 23rd. Tomorrow evening, February 24th, will be the annual Academy Awards. And right now, here he is with his Oscar predictions, your friend and mine, Lenny Mulliner. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Lenny. Here we are both in our brand new tuxedos from Men's Warehouse. How's that for a plug? Nice tuxedos. Well, Lenny, are you ready for the Academy Awards tomorrow night? Y yes, I am, Steve. Are you ready for your predictions? Yes. Well, we're ready for your predictions. We'll start off with the best actor. Nominated are Christian Bale in Vice, Bradley Cooper in A Star is Born, Rami Malek in Bohemian Rhapsody, Viggo Mortensen in Green Book, and William Defoe from At Eternity's Gate. Who do you think will be the winner? I'm kind of torn between Christian Bale in Vice and Rami Malek in Bohemian Rhapsody because I'm, I'm a big star, a big fan of 80s rock music. So who do you think will win it? I love the rock band Queen, so I, I loved all that 80s uh, rock music as as well as my cousin Roger Gola from Roselle Park. Well, who do you think is going to win it? Um, I, I'm going to go with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. So you're going with the actor, Rami Malek. Rami Malek. Okay. Rami Malek. Okay, that's Lenny's prediction for Best Actor. Now we go to Best Actress. Nominated are Yalitza Arpaccio from Roma, Glenn Close from The Wife, Olivia Colman from The Favorite, Lady Gaga from A Star is Born, and Melissa McCarthy from Can You Ever Forgive Me? Who do you think will win? I'm going to choose Glenn Close from The Wife. I think she's a fantastic actress. I think she's never been, um, she never won, a, um, she's been nominated several times, but she never actually won an award. Is that correct? That is correct. She's been nominated several times, but never won it. I, I liked her very much in two different movies. One was Jagged Edge. That was with Jeff Bridges and uh, Fatal Attraction. I think, believe that was with uh, Michael Douglas, I think. You are correct. Those were two very famous films. And she w did a fantastic job in those movies, and I don't know how she, did, she didn't win that. Well, you're making a good choice with Glenn Close because I think she's going to win it for The Wife because I saw the movie, and she's great. Now we go to the next category. We go to Supporting Actor. Nominated are Ma Hershala Ali in Green Book, Sam Elliott in A Star is Born, Adam Driver in Black Klansman, Richard E. Grant in Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Sam Rockwell in Vice. Who do you think will win? 
Yeah, I, I think Sam Elliott would win for, for that. He's also a longtime actor, and I, I really think he's deserved of, of, of winning that particular category. Well, I agree with you. He's got a very, very good, uh, good chance. The, now we go to Supporting Actress. Nominated are Amy Adams for Vice, Marina Di Tavira for Roma, Regina King for If Beale Street Could Talk, Emma Stone for The Favorite, and Rachel Weiss for The Favorite. Who do you think will win? Regina King, If Beale Street Could Talk. Okay. No question in my mind that she'll win that, Regina King. Okay, that's a good choice. Now we go to Best Director. Nominated are Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, Spike Lee for Black Klansman, Powell Pawlikowski for Cold War, Yorgos Lathimos for The Favorite, and Adam McKay for Vice. Who do you think will win? Um, I'm thinking the, the first, uh, Alfonso Cuaron. For, right, that's who you think will win. It. Yeah, I think Alfonso Cuaron. Okay, and he directed Roma, which oh, brings oh, us yes. right, which brings us now to Best Picture. There are eight films nominated for Best Picture. They are A Star Is Born, Roma, Green Book, The Favorite, Black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Vice. Which film do you think will win? Well, there, there's several good movies in there. And I, I really like Lady Gaga in uh, A Star Is Born. I like Bradley Cooper. I like the uh, the, the the magnetism be between them. Uh, but uh, I'm kind of uh, hedging on either Bohemian Rhapsody or Vice. And uh, I, you have to pick one. What's your prediction? I, I I would really like Bohemian Rhapsody to win, but I'm I'm thinking Vice would win Best Picture. Oh. Okay, so that's your prediction for Vice for Best Picture, is your prediction. I think I would have to go with Vice. Okay, that's a good Vic, uh, prediction. Okay, thank you very much, Lenny Moliner. Thank you. Let's hear it for Lenny. Here he is, that song and dance man supreme, my pal, Spats Donovan. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, and all of us adult children, and children all uh, are about the greatest childlike institution the world has ever seen. Walt Disney, at Disneyland and Disney World, and boy, I tell you, when I was this big, my hero was Mickey Mouse. Ho, ha, ha, ha. And of course, Goofy, oh, oh, oh boy, oh, oh, gorge. And of course, Donald. <laughs> but the one I liked equal to Mickey was the voice was done by Cliff Edwards. His nickname was Ukulele Ike. And it became Disney's theme song from the classic Disney motion full-length feature animated cartoon, Pinocchio. And with your kind, humble permission, I would like to do a little bit of Mr. Uh, Jiminy Cricket for you as Cliff Edwards and then go into spats. to extremes when you wish upon a star as dreamers do Faith is kind 
she brings to you some love a sweet fulfillment of a secret of the blue fate steps in to see you through when you wish upon a star your dreams come to you some love a sweet fulfillment of a secret longing like a bolt out of the blue fate steps in to see you through when you wish upon a star your dreams come true Thank you, Jiminy Cricket. Always let your conscience be your God. God bless Disney. Dumbo, the ninth wonder of the universe, the wild's most greatest flying elephant. <laughs> You ever see an elephant fly? Well, I seen a horse fly. Well, I seen a dragon fly. Well, I see a house fly. Well, I been done seen that too. I seen a peanut, I heard peanut stand. I heard a rubber band. I, I saw a needle that winked its eye. But I've been done seen most everything when I seen an elephant fly. I heard a well front porch swing. I heard a diamond ring. I saw a polka dot railroad tie. But I've been done seen most everything when I seen an elephant fly. Well, I saw a clothes horse rear up and kick. I saw a man do a vegetable truck. I seen that. I only heard. Just to be sociable, <laughs> I'll take your word. I saw a fire chat. I saw a baseball bat. I seen a needle that winked its eye. Well, I've been done seen most everything when I seen an elephant fly. When I <laughs> oh, this 
Fifilly. <laughs> well, welcome to Alice in Wonderland, and <laughs> the, I'm the Mad Hatter, and to the tea party. <laughs> if you knew time as well as I, <laughs> well, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. <laughs> okay, uh, Professor, <laughs> Maestro. Now, statistics say, well, they prove, prove that you've got one birthday. Ah, precisely. One birthday every year. But there are 364 odd birthdays. And that is why we're really here to cheer. Ah, very nearly a birthday to you. Oh, to me. <laughs> Birthday to me. <laughs> oh, to you. Just blow the candle out, my dear, and make your wish come true. A very merry unbirthday. A very merry unbirthday. A very merry unbirthday. Ah, to hey Oh, Mrs. Billy. <laughs> Well, that's our show for tonight, my birthday party and our 300th episode. Did you all have a good time? I had a very good time. I want to thank all my friends for coming tonight. I want to thank my mother for coming tonight and having such a wonderful time, my mother Josette. And I want to thank the two mighty musicians at the guitar, Sandy Renda. At the piano, Mike Yanuzzi. Our producer, director, Jerry Schoenthal, behind the camera. And our three very special guests, Lenny Mulliner, Tony Adada, and Spats Donovan. Until we meet again, remember... I love to spend this birthday with you as friend to friend I'm sorry it's through I'm telling you just how I feel I hope you feel that way too let's make a date for this time next year I'm here to state We'll have lots of cheer To bring again, sing again The things you want me to I love to spend this birthday with you Good night!